Hey, I'm Jamie with Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about a game called Ransom Notes. It's a light party game that I played recently at a, just a light social gathering, and it was actually a lot of fun. Um, I say actually because I don't usually play this style of party game, or if I do, it's usually fully cooperative, whereas this was just kind of a make your friends laugh kind of game in the style of Cards Against Humanity, in that uh, a, a question is given to everyone to answer, and everyone answers privately, and uh, you mix up those, those answers so each, the, the, the person who's choosing the winner doesn't know who, who gave which clue or which answer. And then they pick one and that person gets a, gets a card. Points don't really matter in this type of game. Uh, but the twist in this game is that each person has a private limited word pool to choose from. Uh, which actually makes for some really interesting answers. And this is kind of the name of the game, Ransom Notes, in that uh, you know traditional ransom notes are cut out from newspapers, and so there are a hodgepodge of random words put together. Not random words, hodgepodge of words put together that don't exactly form a complete sentence usually. And in the case of Ransom Notes, uh, those words are magnets. They're little magnet words, the types of magnetic words that you might see on refrigerators sometimes, where you see people making little poems or, or silly phrases on, on refrigerators. There's this giant pool of magnets in the game. And at the beginning of the game, each player chooses, I think the game asks for like three pinches or like a handful. You're choosing a number of these words. And those words become your pool of words that you can choose from for the rest of the game. And so I like A, that, this is, that there are specific words that you're choosing from, um, B, that they're private to you, like those are your words to choose from. You're not grabbing from the middle of the table, you are choosing from your own supply of words. And uh, C, that, uh, that those words are limited in that they, uh, when you use words for one clue, those words go away. They, are, they go away for the rest of the game and you are left with the rest of your words, but that those, the remaining words are persistent. And so if I have a fairly silly word that I really wanna use, but it doesn't really fit for an answer that I wanna give uh, for the, the, the first question in the game, then I can save that and I kind of gain a knowledge of my word pool over the course of the game. Um, in terms of the, what clues I want to give later. And when I'm talking about clues, I'll give you an example here. Um, the, uh, so the, I, when I was the, the clue giver um, or the question giver, I chose, I, I looked at a few different cards and I chose one that I thought might have a silly answer. And it was along the lines of what is a, a law that is somehow still on the books in Florida? a state in the United States that's often made fun of for their antiquated laws, even some of which are made um, in, in the modern day. But, you know, it's kind of a state that we, we poke fun of a little bit. Florida is a wonderful state, but we do poke fun of, the rest of the states poke fun of it a little bit in terms of some of the things that happen in Florida, the silly things that happen in Florida. And so I chose this clue and everyone gave, uh, created a law using a, their limited word pool. Um, and I had to choose from those silly answers to, uh, to decide which one I thought was best. I can't remember which one I chose. But anyway, the, the limited word pools lead to these kind of weird answers in the game because you can't create a full sentence, or it's rare that you can actually create a full sentence. And I noticed as the game went on, the clues got better. People got better at, at composing these sentences because they realized that the person who's reading them out loud may not deliver them in exactly the way that they hope to, given the limited word pool. Anyway, all of this, it, it's, it, it's more of an activity than a game, but that's okay. Like, we didn't care who won, basically. There was no objective to try to win the game. But, uh, but it was still felt good when someone chose your answer, when you created something that made other people laugh. And I think the limited, the private limited word pools contributed to that uh, significantly. So yeah, Ransom Notes. Fun little party game. I had a good time with it. If you have a party game that surprised you recently in terms of how much it made you laugh, how much fun you had with it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.